Hello everybody. By now you probably know I do love a short collar, whether it's teeny tiny or a big statement one like this one. So today and in less than 10 minutes I'm going to show you how to draft this vintage inspired, very oversized statement and oh so glamorous short collar. And the best thing about it is you can either add this short collar stole effect to an existing top or you can actually keep it completely separate and then there is either in a nice wool or like an old blanket for day wear or use it for evening wear to add a nice layer on top of any dress or top. I'm going to show you the original vintage inspiration first and actually show you two options of how it can work and then I'm going to show you how to draft it. Let's have a look at the inspiration first and I want to show you how there's two ways of actually constructing this collar stole. The first one is that you have your short collar like this which is really oversized so you can of course make it as oversized as you want to but for that maximum glamorous impact you sort of want to go past your shoulder point you can see it's a short collar and then it becomes a stole with pockets like this and i assume this would be made either out of a cotton satin or maybe even a cotton silk satin so you have this and then the first option is to actually then catch this at our shoulder seam into our top below. So we've got our top here and then our stole gets caught into the shoulder seam so the shawl collar is separate at the front completely but then it gets stitched to the seams of the top and also of course to the neckline so at the back you have an attached shawl collar to the neckline of our lovely little wrap top the second option is to have a completely separate shawl collar stall so you can Wear it this or without the top because of course this sort of stole short collar would look great with any evening garment instead of a you know a pashmina or conventional um, stole. So again we have the same short collar construction at the front and of course you can add pockets if you want to. But then instead of being attached to our top we actually have a little back like this so that goes around you so you put it on like a scarf but it's actually pattern cut to fit your body and to add the short collar at the same time let's draft the short collar i'm using my blocks for this but you can use any top you have or jacket all you need to make sure is that you've got a high shoulder point that sits high on your um shoulder line and a normal shoulder width for you and a normal center front so any plain top will do for this just make sure to take off the seam allowance the first thing we're going to draw in is our normal short collar drafting which means we're going to draw in our break point i'm going to draw mine in right at the waist and we, from there we're going to draw a fold line to the high shoulder point i'm then i'm then going to ex extend my body down for how long as you want it so i'm going to extend mine down by about probably 60 70 centimeters but that is really up to you how long you want your stall to be next you need to mark the width of your stall again that is up to you so find a width which is flattering or 
stylish on you and then you mark that bit in two places and then we can draw a parallel line and that is our stole next we need to draw in our statement short collar so i'm going to actually sketch it in first how i want it to look so i want it to look like this what i'm now going to do is fold it on my fold line and you can do it either way I'm going to do it like this and then I'm going to trace it through and the reason I'm doing it like this is because sometimes it's quite hard when you draw on your short collar to see how big it will look like on your body and here I can see that goes way past my shoulder point so that, that's exactly what I'm aiming for I can now draw in a straight line and then you can use your pattern master to draw in your curve like this the next thing of course is to draw in our back neck as we would do for any show collar i'm using my neck to draw mine in like this for a more in-depth tutorial you can of course watch my video for a classic show collar for this one i want it quite flat so i'm drawing it quite close to my front shoulder and then i'm extending into the back so that is my center back i can now draw a right angle for my center back and then i can connect my two lines with a nice smooth curve again i will smooth it out with my pattern master this is your shawl collar with the stole all you need to do is add seam allowance absolutely everywhere because we're going to cut out two of these so add your seam allowance wherever you want for the first option you then to sandwich this into the shoulders of your top and then of course your back neck gets sandwiched into the neck line on your top if you want to turn this into a separate stole here's what you need to do on a small separate piece of paper trace around your back you only need the top of it you can now lay your back shoulder onto your front shoulder to work out exactly how wide you want your shoulder to be and what angle you need it to be and that's a trick you can use whenever you're changing your shoulder we've now got the shape of our shoulder on the back now we can just draw again a right angle from our center back and if we want to we can make it the same width as it is at the shoulder i'm going to draw a line to meet and then again, I'm going to use my pattern master in a second to draw a really nice curve connecting the two. You can now do your center back on the fold because we don't need a seam there. So you just fold it in half, then add seam allowance everywhere else, pin it together and cut it out on the fold to get one pattern piece. And these are all the pieces you need for your shawl collar stole. To stitch it together, it works exactly as any other short collar. You stitch your center back together on your front piece, then you stitch your shoulders together, and finally you stitch your back neck lines together. I hope you enjoyed this drafting tutorial. If you're making this as a separate stool, you can literally just cut out everything twice 
and then stitch it all together and bag it out so you have no seams on show and then it would be beautiful for example in two tones of a satin cotton or a silk or contrast you can have lots of fun or even do a tuxedo like where you have a satin here and a matte fabric there like i've done it and of course for day wear any will look look um glorious and of course it's really fashionable at the moment to um recycle or upcycle um full blankets and that would be a perfect project for that whatever you do if you do it i'd love to see it just tag me on instagram or put, put a comment in below and let me know what you think of this tutorial but for now thank you for watching and enjoy your drafting